Have you ever asked yourself why do Jehovah's Witnesses refuse blood transfusions? They don't agree to blood transfusions, Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, you may be wondering about this, but there's a scripture uh, which they really go to this scripture and they say this is where God commanded about the same. In the book of Acts 15, 19, we'll read to 21. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornications and from things strangled and from blood. Now, this is the word which they come and pick and they say, and from blood. For Moses of the old time has in every city them that preached him being read in the synagogues every every sabbath day so they say stay away from blood and uh this point is where they bring the whole doctrine of blood transfusion and they refuse and they say no you can't now we have to understand that it's clear from the context that the instructions they were against eating or drinking blood not blood transfusions because blood transfusions were not even possible in the bible times so why would they be told to stay away from blood transfusions no they were being told stay away from eating blood because that's where the life of the flesh is leviticus 17 11 let me just show you this leviticus 17 verse 11 i always quote this verse all the time but let me show you now the bible says that for the life of the flesh is in the blood. And this, I believe, is the reason why God did not want blood to be drunk. The life of the flesh is in the blood, and I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that atones for the soul, or that makes its atonement for the soul. So now, he continues here and says, Therefore I say unto the children of Israel, No soul of you shall eat blood, Neither shall any stranger that sojourns among you eat blood. You say, here, we don't see them being told not to be transfused with blood. But uh, they are being told not to eat the blood because they are eating the life. They are eating the life of something. So how do you eat the life of something? This is where the problem comes in. So it's not really about the blood transfusion, but it's about the eating of the blood, drinking of the blood not transfusions because blood transfusions were not possible like i've told you in the in those early times in the bible times so there's no possibility that this scripture could be referring to blood transfusions because there were many pagan religious practices that involved eating and drinking blood or strangling an animal to keep more of his blood in its meat this is what the bible speaks again it's Again, it's not blood transfusions. Now, is it acceptable for Christians to receive or to give blood uh, transfusion? Now, this is a very hard question, but uh, since the Bible does not explicitly say a decision of this nature can only be made between a person and God, because the Bible does not say anything concerning this. Now, it's it's according to how you feel convicted. Okay? One consideration that uh, you may say, uh, and that people use so much, uh, one consideration that uh, might be that God created billions of people over the centuries, but uh, he only created four, four blood types making it possible to transfuse blood from one person to another, regardless of race or nationality. Perhaps this is the argument for the legitimacy of blood transfusions. A person should carefully and uh, prayerfully ask God, just pray earnestly in all things with the prayer and supplications, seek the advice of God and ask him, God, should I do this or should I not? Because this is... Uh, Looking at this, we only have four blood types in the whole world. Then I think, uh, I don't know, maybe God knew this would happen at some point because he could have given every person his own blood type. 
a unique blood type like the way we have unique dna's but why do we all have the same four different blood types so that in case something happens you can have transfusion from blood o blood a a b or b or things like that so just take some time and pray and ask god uh, for a decision and uh, ask him what he would uh, have you do in regards to receiving or giving blood transfusion because there is no command either way in scripture concerning the same and uh, blood transfusions are therefore a matter of conscience okay but this one for the jehovah's witnesses just saying we don't want blood transfusion because uh, it is written now that's taking the the word of god to an extreme you you if if you tell people whatever god tells them uh, uh, according to prayer they do it then, then that's okay but if something is not directed completely then don't make it a doctrine you'll now be editing the word of god and that's why we need to pray for the jehovah's witnesses to understand god because most of them they don't understand the gospel they are they there are several things that these jehovah's witnesses don't believe and you can go and check my other video i explained in depth concerning who are the jehovah's witnesses and what what are their beliefs but i'll just tell you that these people they don't believe that jesus is god they believe jesus was just an archangel who was created he is basically the archangel created by god and they believe that the holy spirit is just a force and they also don't believe there is hell so many things that they believe which are heresies and that uh, jesus did not really resurrect you see all those kind of things uh, that's, that's what they believe and when you meet those people just talk to them on that point and tell them that jesus died for their sins so that whosoever will believe will not perish but will have everlasting life all you need to do is know that you are a sinner from adam you have been born a sinner you have been born into sin but because through one man adam you became a sinner through one man jesus you can become whole and that man is jesus 2000 years ago while we were still sinners christ died for us so that whosoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life all you need to do my friends is to understand that fact and believe it and you confess what you have believed just tell god jesus i believe that you died for my sins you were buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures i believe you and i receive this payment this atonement by faith and i tell you my friends if you understand that and do it you you're saved sealed and sanctified unto the day of redemption hope this has been a blessing to you if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and also you can uh, subscribe to watch more videos which you post each and every day and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss uh, a new video and likewise share to your friends and uh, check also in the description below we have a couple of other channels outside youtube where we also post videos please go and check them out and uh, also share to your friends god bless you and have a good time